Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, we invaded Panama to secure the canal. So we now have permanent control over that. And we also invaded... That was Honduras. Yes, this is Nicaragua. That's Honduras. So they have now been integrated. Because they were the wrong color so we went ahead and made them the correct color and we're continue working on that we are justifying against Nicaragua and we are also justifying against Tabaristan over here go ahead and get them corrected and then uh, yeah we'll figure out what else we're gonna do I think we're gonna continue working on that project scrubbing the world of the communist menace and then one of the things i'm thinking we're going to do before we um we call this series complete is i want to remove all of these wars so basically any participants in any of these wars we are going to knock out right we're going to pacify them So, let's get right back into it. We have three civilian factories. APM base. What about SAM sites? I'm mean, working on building those. We're getting to a point where... It's like, what do I have left to build that's worth building? Right? I have a few little spots where infrastructure hasn't been improved. But I think we need to build more SAMs. So that should keep some of our factories busy. Yep, we need to pump out some more SAMs because we've been building SAM sites. So we need to fit them out. And there's our brand spanking new frigate. All right. And that is our top end frigate. Let's get the next dis uh, Corvette hull. Um. Let's see. Yeah, we should probably go ahead and just design that. That was frigate, right? Yeah. Let's see. This should be fairly straightforward. Not making any real, like... Crazy design decisions here. Surface to air missiles. Uh, anti ship missiles. Done. Um, helipads and torpedo launchers. Cyclops class, sure. Alright, there we go. And then we're just going to... 
I mean, we, we pretty much just built... We pretty much just built them. It has been 20 days worth of construction. I can give up 20 days worth of construction. Scrap them and build new ships. All right, there's our kilo, uh, 20 kiloton nuclear warheads. 30 kilotons. Belize would like to join the faction. Belize. You are the correct government type. And you welcome aboard. Oh, we need to get some troops down here to Baristan. Right. Uh, closest thing we've got are these guys. Um, I mean, they'll do. Let's see. Yeah, that's these are the, like, just reserve, essentially. Reserve forces. We got these guys over here. They're close enough. That's probably all we'll need to be honest uh, yep we have air forces deployed over here we do not Oh, we got some close enough. There's something that we can do. That we can have all of our, uh, civilian factories work on. Upgrade all of my airfields so that I can put as many planes as I want wherever I want. Keep them busy for a little while. Good. the last time that I spread influence. So I should be able to do this once every 30 days. Target Spain's influence. There we go.
Alright, you've already been puppeted, so that doesn't matter anymore. Alright, justification is complete. Go ahead and declare war. And let's tell everybody to go ahead and do what it is that they're going to do. Let's see, who will get there first? My ground for my ground forces got there first. Nope, don't even think about it. Done. Alright. Now, here is what I think we're going to do. We're going to start justifying against Venezuela. That is going to be a big fight. Yep, that's going to be a big fight. We're going to knock out Venezuela, and then that's going to put us in a good position against Brazil. Though Brazil is probably going to take most of this. We'll see how it goes. What I want you to do is fall back to that airfield there. You. I want you to set up for a naval invasion. There. I would like you also to set up for a naval invasion. You are moving. You guys, I think, are going to deploy. I need an airfield for you guys to deploy on. That'll probably do there. Tabaristan? No, no, no. Now the question is... Mm, no. Uh, well, the question was going to be, do I want to start inviting allies to this particular fight? And I don't think I do. I'd like time to move while we are setting this up. I would like to bring my heavy armor down here. Provide assistance. Let's go ahead and justify a war goal. It'll take 120 days. That's fine. Yeah, we'll 
I'll give them all their orders. The Philippines wants a $400 billion bailout. We'll give them a bailout. Thirteen billion. Oh, that's thirteen trillion. Or ninety trillion. Um I was trying to see if it would let me just pay as much as possible, but apparently it won't, so... We have to do this the slow way. I will eventually get this paid down. I will eventually get this paid down. Because that was what, 13 trillion of my 90 trillion. I mean, that's, that's, that's a chunk. That's a pretty decent chunk. All right. Spread influence. Spread influence. Do you want some guns? No, you don't want any guns. Well, what I think we're going to do is, if we're planning this conflict here... I would like... ...to improve these naval bases, for one thing. Or one of those naval ba bases. Um, I would like to get another supply depot built there. I would want to upgrade the trains. Here. Let's make sure that these supply depots are fully outfitted. There's our 2035 attack submarine hull. Excellent. We might as well go after the best. 416 days. Or should we? Let some of these build a little bit. Um... What else will we work on in the meantime? Cruisers? Yeah, probably cruisers. You know what? Let's do that. Let's see. Um, go ahead and finish those give me some torpedoes 
Give me vertically launched anti-ship missiles. Yeah, because these are not land attack. Anti-ship missiles. All right, now I need to come up with a class name. Just a sec. All right, this is gonna be the uh, Hestia class. There you go. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll flag those as obsolete for the time being. And we'll get those under construction. Let's see, August and September is when we're going to be done building the current set of subs. All right, that'll do. When are we going to be done here? August, 6th of August, so next month. Venezuela. Now, how many, um, uh, below just then wants a bailout? Sure. How many ICBMs do I have? 100 in stock? Okay. That'll do. 45 kilotons. Costa Rica, let's, you're not aligned, but that's the communists in power. So actually we want to get rid of that. Um, if I were to justify a war goal, how long would it take? A year. Exactly. We can annex Latvia. Um, yeah, go ahead. Four divisions, go ahead and dump them in there. Hey, France, you want to bail out? <laughs> Let's see. Do you want vehicles? No, you don't want vehicles. All right, justification is complete. Lithuania wants a bailout. Sure. Yeah. 
I can handle it, folks. I can I can handle it. Profits from asteroid mining. Speaking of asteroid mining. We have a lot of Western outlook here. I think we're going to need to, um, do some stuff here. Might cost us a little cash, but that's all right. We still have pretty good income. St. Kitts and Nevis wants a bailout, sure. Yeah, you're already a puppet. I shouldn't have done that. It's all right. Now, how long would it take me to justify a war goal against Costa Rica? 185 days. You know what? Do it. Um... A couple of armies is probably all we're going to need. I think what we need over here... Oh, right. Well, one thing we need to do is we need to build that rail. Um, is we need a rail line there. We could also use a rail line there. Can I create a rail line there? And will that actually allow us to pass that Right there, I don't know. Supply depots here. We don't have any rail. Go ahead and build that. I 
how do we have not enough manpower or equipment? Negative one million. What? Is that Venezuela? It is Venezuela. I mean, I can throw a whole bunch more production in there. I mean... That's maxed out. I mean, without putting on a whole other line of production in there, which, you know, I could do, right? We could go ahead and put in a whole other line. A whole other line is what I was trying to say. You know what? Just all of them. All of it. Here we go. Crank out all the guns. All right. Claire War. You know, I probably should have just, you know, gotten a back door, but whatever. Brazil wants to join the faction. <laughs> no, Brazil. Nope. Um, oh. Air. Right. Some air support over here. Guyana? Yeah, it's, it's fine. They have no aircraft. None. Let's see if we can land some forces. The naval invasion. I'm well, speaking of influence. Make sure we at least keep up with that. Belize wants a bailout. Palestine wants a bailout. Sure and sure. We don't actually have any transport planes over there. Ah, uh, where were my transport planes? Out of curiosity. We have a couple of... Yeah, they're there. And the other ones... I think I'm going to go over here, right? I'll take a little while to get there. All 
All right, so from here, if we did an airdrop. Hold on. Where would we want to do an airdrop? In there? In there? That might be a good idea. Got him. All right. Now, these planes... I'm going to tell them to do air supply over here. All right, excellent. Go. Cut the rest of the country off from their capital. Excellent. Let's see, I would like to put some divisions. Over there and start attacking from land. Alright, well, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Brazil, no thanks. Yeah, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. See if we can't finish knocking out Venezuela. And see what else we can get up to. Alright, but for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.